right uh so let's just make a quick um, top line analysis of what happened today so the day of the recording is tuesday uh during london session as you can see we're still on 234 that's the current time and we had this gbp release right at 2 a.m now if you look at the chart you realize that we had this particular trade on gbp aud right here gbp aud and let's just do the top down and we'll get to move every fucking drawing and then we'll get to what really transpired so if you look at the weekly let's start from the weekly right look at the weekly you realize that we trade into this fabric gap it's a weekly fabric gap right there this fabric gap we trade into that and still we're still the bodies are respecting what the bodies are still respecting uh this fabric gap above here as you can see and we still have the series of down close candles which form your order block on the weekly so you can use that as an order block too and yeah so i came into this week with an expectation of what bullish uh price action now if you look at what the daily is doing you realize that the daily of that weekly level the weekly level was somewhere around here somewhere around here uh so if you look at the daily we have this family gap right there pushed price higher and we're having our drawn liquidity higher right there right might be targeting what consequent encroachment of that week as a long-term target but for now we are only focusing on what the short-term targets which is basically what this buy side liquidity pool right there so we have a buy side liquidity pool above there if you're having that as a buy side liquidity pool what do we have we have this fabric gap right here it's a pc it's a daily fabric gap so i was looking at this particular day which is today to say to trade into this fabric gap and trade higher into buy side liquidity pools on the intraday time frames and eventually this previous daily high as the, the target for the whole trade now if you look at uh the consequent encroachment of this fabric gap right here let me measure it out i'll leave it right there you realize that we trade back into that consequent encroachment and trade it higher so if you look at london the midnight opening price on the intraday the one hour time frame you realize that something we important happened here so there's the consequent encroachment which is the midpoint of a fairly gap let's mark out the midnight opening price for tuesday we have that right here that's the daily opening price and here's our previous daily high as our buy side liquidity pool right there above here and if you look in between this consequent encroachment and this buy side liquidity pool we have failure swings these are forming what these are forming uh low resistance liquidity rise so if we're forming low resistance liquidity runs then we also have what short-term liquidity pools which are what our minor liquidity pools right here we're having this minor liquidity pools this swing high the swing high and this relatively call highs and eventually those highs right there that's our major liquidity pool right there so going to the five minute i'm going to skip the 15 because nothing significant really happened there but let me just go to the 15 right for the sake of understanding once again there's the consequent encroachment of that fabric gap on the daily and there's the midnight opening price and we have this short term liquidity pool right there let me mark it out as a minor liquidity pool right there so you can focus from this high to this low and that as our market make a buy model and we had this favorite gap that was confirmed post the news release but if you pay attention you realize that we never retested that favorite that that order block right there this series of down close candles tagging what 
obtain this uh, consequent improvement of that fair bit gap and then we run it higher without coming back into it. But if you look at the five minutes, let me get rid of that. Look at the five minutes, you see some clarity, some form of clarity here. There's the consequent encroachment. We trade lower into it and then we displace higher upon that news release at 2 a.m. And then what do we have? We have a close above the series of down close candles. That's forming what? Your order block. There's your change in the state of delivery. And then we retrace back into this favorite gap here. That favorite gap right there. So where would you be entering into this trade? You're entering into this trade right there on this order block right there. And your stop loss is where your stop loss is on this swing law right here. That retested that consequent encroachment. And your TP is where your TP is on that minor liquidity point. You have it two is to one is to two point four uh risk to reward ratio. That's what you would be having. And why am I confident in putting my stop loss here? If you look at this law that was formed at 10 minutes before two, and this law formed after that news release at quarter of quarter minute quarter past two rather we realize that we have an smt with the euro aud right here euro aud we have this 215 law and this law performing what lower laws as we trade Post the news right here. We don't see any displacement on the five minutes. And then we have what? If you look at GBP AUD, we have higher loss. So this is signaling what? This is signaling strength. So you might want to buy on this order block or buy on this favorite gap stop loss right here because you're hoping that or you are expecting this loan to be traded back into if your bias is correct. And you take your TP here, and that's basically that. And I think I have uh, the snaps to show for it right here. Right here, we had that, and we also had what? Mm. We we're, were trying to enter on this uh, propulsion block right here, but we didn't really get a fill on that particular and also that favorite gap right there. So yeah, that's basically that for GBP AUD this particular morning. Simple move if you know what you're looking for and